There's a bride to be uh, who recently took to Facebook and sparked a major dress debate. This bride wanted to know if it would be okay to ask her nine-year-old stepdaughter to wear shapewear so that she could fit into her dress. Now, the bride described to her as her stepdaughter as thick and said she tried all sorts of sizes on her, but that nothing is fitting. So she said the wedding is in five days and thinks shapewear would smooth the edges out and give her the perfect fit. However, many readers view that the bride's request as body shaming said it could be end up hurting the young girl's self-esteem. I mean, ladies, what do you think about this? I remember the movie Moonstruck with Nicolas Cage and Cher, where Cher slapped <laughs> Nicolas Cage and said, snap out of it. That's exactly what I would do with this bride. Nine Dang. years old? Come on. Come on. Uh, why so are you looking ridiculous. for her dress five Come days on. before? Why are you looking for her I mean, dress just five? Is she an afterthought to the, to the marriage? Guys, I, I, I just... This really bothered me because obviously I married a man who has children and I think that it's so important to consider them. And I think when you marry someone, you don't just marry them. You also marry into their family. And I just right. think the idea of one, the child being an afterthought, but two, bigger than that, is like, what really matters to you? Like, what are you getting married for? Are you getting married because yeah. you love this man and you love this child? Or are you getting married so that people look really cute in photos? Like, Dang like, wh why does she need the shapewear? Why does it matter? She could be wearing a potato sack at the wedding. That's what matters. What matters is the right. commitment that you're She's making. She's there. The love right. that you're sharing. She, she does not love this child. That's just how it comes across to me. Or that she's just that far removed from... Like, what matter? Like, it just blew my mind. I absolutely think that this is a horrific thing to ask a nine-year-old. She's a child. It a is child wrong is on only so many a levels. Child once. Like, we're only a child once. And I think across the board, we here can think about our childhood and look back. And I'm sure there are parts of your childhood you wish just was preserved for longer. And I think some people... I think, yeah. I think it was you, Adrian. You posted something where you said, I was... I was 21 when I was 15, and you, and that's why nothing impresses you anymore. But I feel I, I felt all you by that. the time I was 18. I was waiting because I'm, I'm going to give you a good comment on that one. But the, the thing about it is, as a child, you're robbed of your innocence very quickly, from social media to bullies to the real world, whatever. And the one thing, and excuse me if I'm speaking out for everybody, but I would say from women I've met, the one thing we deal with most of our lives is insecurities, and most of them are physical. And I know for me, I didn't realize I had an eating disorder until I turned about 38. I was way too skinny, and it's because there were some people when I was younger that whenever I gained weight, it was immediately pointed out to me, like, you're fat, you're fat, even though I was not fat. I was actually at my same, I was at the right BMI for my height and everything. But I was deemed fat because it just, I just looked like I gained weight. So I've always managed to maintain this weight that was not right, and I noticed it because my cousin, who f couldn't fit in my clothes, she was like, I'm fat, and she's not, but she was like, I'm fat, I can't fit it. And I immediately was just horror stricken because wow. she was 13 years old, and I felt terrible about it. So just be careful, don't inflict yeah. anything of a concern when it comes to body, size, appearance, it's don't inflict that on kids. We are women, we're already gonna have a lot of that, which we don't wanna go battle through now, but don't start them off on the wrong track. But this is a really a red flag, and 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 as the baby's mother, I would have an issue with if if the if exactly. my you Speak know is, is asking my daughter to put on a spank. She's nine. Let her you know. She's I nine. call you ladies. Let her be a child. I'm I'm nine hundred, and I don't want to wear a spank at a damn wedding. So <laughs> nobody go. does.